Well, flames and smoke billow out of a storage unit, leaving severe damage behind. The fire was reported just after 8 this morning. Investigators say at least 30 units have been damaged or destroyed. The fire broke out at Pioneer Self Storage in Volusia County. That's on Pioneer Trail in New Smyrna Beach. News 6 reporter Lauren Korn joins us now live from Volusia County tonight. And Lauren, do investigators have any idea what started this fire? No, right now the fire marshal still assessing the damage. I'll step out of the way. You can see they still have the cones here. They believe that a fuel lake uh, leak has something to do with the fire that destroyed some units and damaged several others. I could smell it just pouring out of the out of the doors. Scott Williams immediately called 911 after driving by the StoreQuest self storage around 7:30 Tuesday morning. It was scary when I pulled in. I was I, I started shaking. I was like, was, fires are just nervous especially in a gated area. Within four minutes, firefighters from multiple agencies arrived and used chainsaws. <laughs> Cut through the units, dousing the flames before it could jump to other buildings within the facility. First thing I can think of is like we got a few things left, uh, baby grand pianos in there. Lucky for Williams, he learned his unit was safe. Thank God, but I saw some people who lost some stuff. Expect the worst and I hope for the best. That's that. Dennis Dearborn anxiously waited to hear about his two units. I've got a lot of family stuff that would belong to my mom and dad. Including family heirlooms and his father's gun from the war. The things that I'm really concerned about, and I'm hoping it made it, is um, the M1 carbine that my dad had in World War II. Unfortunately, Dearborn was told the fire destroyed both units. Firefighters say the flames destroyed or affected about 30 units and don't believe it was suspicious. Now you can still see the cones behind me. The facility says they're going to remove those in an hour or so, so folks can come down and see if it was one of their units destroyed, damaged in that fire. And the facility says that they'll help move some of those items that are salvageable into another unit for them. We'll have more on this coming up today at 5 o'clock. Ginger? Lauren Korn reporting live. Lauren, thank you.